Hey guys, John here with ModelWorks Direct. And this is Leanne from ModelWorks Direct. And so we have a very special treat. Uh, we had a special request from another customer. Her name is Marianne. Mm -hmm. uh, so the story behind this is that her husband, whose birthday, his 50th birthday, is um, actually this month. And she wanted a special gift uh, to present to him on his birthday. It's a uh, Piper Saratoga. Mm -hmm. He actually purchased his plane and was actually separated from his plane because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So he actually had to fly, but he's actually from Canada. So he had to fly back from, to Canada while his plane was being refinished in Florida. Uh, so to make a long story short, uh, we'll go into detail a little, in a little bit. He was actually reunited with his airplane about three months later. Uh, like you being separated from your loved ones, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's your toy, your car. It's, so it's one of those stories with a happy ending and we'll show you through a visual journey, through pictures and video, how all of this unfolds. Yang, are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, everyone, let's start with the first process, which is the carving stage. And we're going to use what kind of materials? Chisel. Chisels. And quite and a few other tools that our carvers mm -hmm. will actually use uh, to, uh, to pretty much just carve the basic mm -hmm. shape of the uh, model in this case the Piper Saratoga mm -hmm. and so when they carve it they're using um, the photos of the actual plane also the blueprints the, and the blueprints drawings. as well so it's just a basic um, shaping of the model itself then it'll go through a more rigorous process but mm -hmm. that's the first step in making this model for this special uh, occasion for the husband Daryl and of course, the next stage of this process, what we call the interior. And in this process, you will see the, the details of every materials that we use. And John will explain what kind of materials we are using in this process. Okay, so after the carving process, our carvers will actually gut out the plane mm -hmm. uh, where areas were the canopy or the cockpit area or the and cabinet area. And this is what, they, uh, what we call the clear canopy. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So they're going to pretty much gut out the interior of the plane. Mm -hmm. And then once that it's gutted out, our craftsmen will actually will make uh, small little replicas mm -hmm. of this, the chairs, the seats, mm -hmm. the gauges, the controls, the, mm -hmm. the pedals. Uh, anything that basically you find inside mm -hmm. the cockpit of the airplane will actually will be placed in that gutted portion of the, the model. And itself. these materials are what kind of materials uh, are you so using? They're composite models, mm -hmm. um, made of primarily wood, but we'll also use resin like in the windows. Uh, so to be transparent, so you can actually see the details. Mm -hmm. uh, the chairs can be made out of resin as well as uh, we'll use vinyl in certain yes. areas of the plane, model and also as well. So after the, um, the interior has been actually gutted out to accommodate the, the, the seats, the chairs, um, the, the gauges of the controls, um, our artists will actually We'll add the details and paint the actual interior to that of the pictures by, by the customer's request. And the process is that we'll take the photos, we'll replicate what's inside the photos mm -hmm. onto the model itself from the color, um, from the stitches to the seats, mm -hmm. seat belts, mm -hmm. um, from an iPad on the yoke. Mm -hmm. I mean, to the, I mean to the very T as far as detail mm -hmm. wise. And we'll send the pictures to the customer. And once the customer approves of that, then we'll go ahead and seal the actual canopy. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then we'll actually... So, uh -huh. basically, we need to get the customer's approval first yes. before we go into close everything, Yes, right? because we want to make sure that we're, make, we're, make, we're making a model for mm -hmm. our customers. Exactly. When they send us pictures, we want to make sure what they see in the picture is what they'll see in the model itself. Yes, and before we close it, we want to make sure every detail has been captured onto mm -hmm. the model. And once they give us that green light that it's good to go, then we'll actually seal the canopy and then proceed to the next process. And then now, we go to the next one, it switches the, the putty, stage. putty stage. So after the carvers are done carving, mm -hmm and they'll actually apply putty onto the actual mm -hmm. model itself. Which is itself. the uh, grayish paste yes. and paint. Yes, um, the putty will allow the, the the base coat to adhere more properly and give it a more smooth mm -hmm. finish. Yes, 
and cover all the holes if there are some yes. holes. Yes, it'll give it a more smooth finish when they apply the base coat. So mm -hmm. um, you you wouldn't even tell that it was actually made out of wood. Exactly. You, you can't see the grains of the wood mm -hmm. in itself. Exactly. Once the body stage is done and we're going to remove the masking tapes on the aircraft and you will actually see it on the video. We're going to the next one, the painting stage, where the artists are using paintbrush, airbrush, and also some masking tapes. Yeah, so what the uh, iris will actually do is um, they'll protect the areas that mm -hmm. should not be painted with masking tape, like you saw in the video. And then they'll actually use stencils to stencil in the tail numbers or any other specific graphics mm -hmm. or details on to the uh, model itself, mm -hmm. as of course you'll see in the video mm -hmm. uh, here. And so our artists will actually take uh, very careful measures. Mm -hmm. on and they make, are very meticulous yes, they with, are. Their, with what to make, the art they're Yes, doing, to make right? sure every detail is actually proportionate mm -hmm. to what is on the actual real plane and photos in itself. Uh, when it comes to our team of craftsmen, carvers, artisans, um, there are, they are spot on when it comes to the details. Exactly. As you will 100%. see on the reveal of this actual Hyper Serotonin. Okay, so the customer, Marianne, uh, contacted Model Works Direct and she wanted to give, like I said, uh, a special gift to her husband who's going to be turning uh, 50 uh, this year. And he wanted, she wanted to give him the airplane that he um, actually had been flying for 23 years. And it's a sad part of the story and a happy ending to the story. So uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic era, which we're actually still in, Ms. Yang, mm -hmm. uh, he was actually separated from his plane. Uh, he's just the uh, Piper. Sarato. Yeah, so he's actually from Canada. Mm -hmm. And his plane was actually being refinished in Florida. Uh, because of the COVID-19, he had to actually go back to Canada and had to leave his plane behind while it's being uh, re uh, refinished, rather. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like it's like um, you being separated from your dog, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's always by your side. So, like I said, it was a little sad story to put like, yet with a happy ending. So after three months later, Yang, uh, he was actually reunited with his plane, and um, because of that, he. Uh, he loves his plane, mm -hmm. so his wife wanted to make him a little desktop replica of his, uh, his Piper Saratoga. Mm -hmm. And so she contacted us, and we will show you, like I said, through a visual journey of mm -hmm. his plane being made specifically for him for his 50th birthday. Mm -hmm. And actually, Daryl purchased this Piper Saratoga, uh, I think that was last March 2016. Right? Yes. That's why mm -hmm. um, the aircraft is really special to him and that's why Mary Ann uh, requested Model Works if we could replicate the aircraft. Itself. Yes, yes, yes she did and yes we can. Yes. And yes we can. And uh, Miss Yang, so um, Mary Ann and Daryl um, have been together for a very long time. Uh, 25, 25 years, years of yes, marriage. 25 years. 25 long years. Congratulations by the way, right Miss mm -hmm. Yang? And um, with that said, he they they've had three grown children, mm -hmm. uh, and his 50th birthday is this month, like uh, like we said. And Daryl is ready to you know spend his spare time flying high above the clouds. Mm -hmm. And this miniature model will sit on Daryl's desk, of course, at his uh, paving company as a daily yes. reminder of how much uh, his hard work has paid off.
Subsequently, the antenna, beacons, GPS, and other smaller parts like the pitot tubes added for the accuracy of the actual outside of the airplane will be positioned by the rigging artists on the correct places based on photos, blueprints, and drawings, then painted the proper colors up for each. Our artists are pretty much done with the painting process of the model itself. And so once all the graphics and details has actually been put on there and the customer has approved it, mm -hmm. then what we will do is actually we'll do a top coat. Mm -hmm. So the top coat will actually give it a gloss, uh, this, this glimmer, this shimmer to it, mm -hmm. uh, to really make the graphics in the detail stand out. Mm -hmm. It's like pledge on a coffee table. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you guys have seen them before. Uh, where you apply that wax on like the coffee table, you just give it this luster. And when you see that on the model airplane, the model car, in this case it's Piper Saratoga, it just gives it this this glow that I'm sure Daryl would be very very happy. And this with. is what we call the uh, top coat, right? Yes, it is the top coat. It's the final the final coat of the model mm -hmm. itself. And then once that's completed, the next process is, and then we'll prep it for shipping. Mm -hmm. and, but before the shipping, you mentioned earlier, John, mm -hmm. the word stand out. Now, I've noticed with this kind of aircraft, the, uh, what do you call it, the base. Yes. Right? It, uh, we, have, we do have a standard base, but this yes. one has a different one. Yes. Now, can you so, tell me something about this I sure base? can. So mm -hmm. the customer wanted the airplane uh, to be able to bank to the left or bank mm -hmm. to the right. Um, for those who don't know that, it's making the turn, making the plane turn mm -hmm. right or, mm -hmm. of course, turn left. Mm -hmm. So what we did, our master craftsmen here at Modelworks, they actually made a swivel on the bracket portion mm -hmm. on this portion right here. They actually made a swivel right here in which she or he, Daryl in that case, can, can make, the, make, yes, make, make the plane turn or bank mm -hmm. either or left or right. So that was another special request mm -hmm. uh, from Marianne for her husband on his special 50th birthday. Exactly. And also, mm -hmm. you can also put any logo that you wish to put on the base. Yes. Together with the message or the yes. two, oh no, or together with the three to four liners inscription. Yes, on the inscription plate, which uh, you can actually put a message on there. Mm -hmm. It could be happy birthday, happy yes. anniversary, happy retirement. Uh, anything that matter, uh, we can exactly. put that onto the plate as well as the logo like Ms. Yang has said. Maybe you guys are wondering what will be the outlook or the result of this aircraft and we're going to show you the actual product of the aircraft. Yes, we are. And with that said, after this visual journey from the start to the middle and to the end, here at Model Wars, we're here to give you the final, final reveal. Product. Here's That's the, the final, final video product. clip. That's what he said. Run up! Here's, Here's the, the final, final video clip. clip. Enjoy! enjoyed this video because we do and um, for our viewers uh, Marianne Daryl your family mm -hmm. uh, your beautiful family I hope you enjoyed this video this like I said this visual journey of the start to middle to the finish of this Piper Saratoga for you Daryl uh, happy birthday from us yes. for Model Works so if you enjoyed watching these videos, all you have to do is just go ahead and follow us on our YouTube channel and you can also browse our videos. And to get more updates for 
our videos, all you had to do is just click subscribe, ring the bell button below, and what else? You can also comment. Yes. Um, good or bad, we'll take it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're open to suggestions. Um, like I said, share this with your family, share, share it with your friends. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a loved one as well that you know you might want to give them a special gift like Marianne did. Exactly. For her husband, Daryl, on his 50th birthday, or it could be an anniversary, a retirement mm -hmm. gift. And contact uh, Model Wear, so send us some pictures and we'll work it out too. We'll give you exactly what you want. Car, boat, plane, automobile, yacht, kuligli, jeepney, whatever, ninja, GX, G, uh, yeah, whatever. Almost everything. Almost everything. Mm -hmm. That's, and also, yeah. you can like and share our videos. Yes, share it tomorrow, now. And if you like what you saw, like I said, subscribe and we'll give you the feed of what's going on here at Model Works. So, with that said, for Model Works, if you can, can think, think it, it, we can, can build, build it. it. Model Works. Right.